Okay, now let's go to the vegetables. All right, starting off with the vegetables, here we go. Okay, we've got some artichoke first. Gross, D tier. Why would you ever eat these? I don't even know how to eat them. The only time I've eaten them is like at a restaurant. They're weird, they're weird shape. They remind me of some animal. I don't know what it is. They're not good and that's why it's D tier. Okay, these look like they are uh, sprouts. What are those? I forgot what they're called, but again, D tier. Kind of gross. I really don't like the texture. Remind me of some sort of bug and I would never buy them from this store. Okay, we've got beets. These are going B tier. I do love a good beet. They hit the spot sometimes, but honestly, the first time I had them, and the first time I made them myself and I roasted them, I was horrified the next day because I went to the bathroom and my pee was magenta, um, which is kind of concerning. It's like, why does that turn your pee pink? I don't get it. But they are very earthy, so they kind of taste like dirt, which is why they go B, but I still really like them. Bok choy, C. Not the worst green veggie, but only good in certain Asian dishes and when cooked with a bunch of oil. Weird like texture. I don't know what it is, but don't really buy these from the store because I don't really know how to cook them correct, but I will eat them if they're in my dish at an Asian restaurant. Broccoli, B tier. Some good roasted broccoli, delicious. But if we're talking raw broccoli, disgusting. Why would I want tree branches scurrying all over my mouth when I eat them. That's what happens when it's a raw piece of broccoli. If you eat raw broccoli, I am astonished at your ability to handle that. It's wild. Okay, Brussels sprouts, S tier. Fight me on this. I love Brussels sprouts. I don't know what the bad reputation is in the, in the vegetable community, but Brussels sprouts, when you cook them, are the best food. The best vegetable, I mean. Cook them in a little bit of ghee on the stove. Mmm. There's not a better vegetable out there. I'm convinced. All right, here we've got cabbage. F tier. Cabbage is one of my least favorite foods on the planet. It would be below F tier if there was a red cabbage on here. First of all, why are they so big? You can't eat all the cabbage when you buy it. There's no way someone goes through an entire head of cabbage by themselves. That thing, when you cut it up, explodes into about five gallons worth of cabbage. Who eats that much cabbage? And it's so bitter and it's so hard to eat. Bell pepper, D. I don't like bell pepper. I really don't. There's something about it. It really does not taste well in my mouth. It's, they're not sweet, they're not salty. They're just bland and weird and I don't, I don't like them that much. When they're like in my Mexican food, I'll eat it, but I never really buy these at the store. Carrots, they go B tier. I love carrots and hummus, but I never buy those big carrots at the store because they're so different than baby carrots. What is the difference? Why are baby carrots so much better than the big long carrots? Someone tell me. Cauliflower, this has to go D tier for me. There's some things I've had cauliflower and I'm like, that's not that bad. But most of the time I eat cauliflower and I'm like, I can't handle it. I don't like cauliflower and I don't like how it pretends to be rice. It's not rice. It tastes very like bitter and it makes you gassy. There's no winning for that vegetable. <laughs> celery, D tier. The only good thing about celery is that you can eat it with hummus and it's okay. But by itself, <laughs> what is the point? What is this? This is just a pepper. I don't like spicy. Is that spicy? I don't even know. I wouldn't know because I don't eat it. Corn. Is that even considered a vegetable? Corn is going C tier. It's okay. I love popcorn, but would, do you eat corn on the cob? Only people eat that at barbecues when someone makes it for them. It's good, but man, you better have some floss on you in your back pocket when you eat these because <laughs> the amount of corn kernels that get stuck in your teeth is too much to handle. You can't eat it without being humiliated if you don't have floss. Cucumber. I don't like cucumber. I don't. This is going F tier. I don't like them. I don't. They don't taste good. They don't taste good dipped in hummus. They're too sweet, they're, but they're so watery and bland. Ugh. I can't even eat them. Eggplant. No, 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 no. It's going D tier. I don't like eggplant either. I don't really see the, the good part about it. it. I mean, I'll eat it if someone gives it to me. If there's like an eggplant dish, sure, that someone makes it at a restaurant, it usually tastes better, but by myself, 
No. Green beans. I don't like these. I don't. I will not eat them if they're in front of me. Kale. <sighs> if you follow me on my food Instagram, you know I have mixed feelings about this. I've said in the past that it's, it's right up with cabbage and one of my least favorite foods. But baby kale is good because you can't really taste it because it's not as bitter, but like normal kale and kale salads, if you massage it correctly, they can be good. But most of the time it tastes like dirt and it's insanely bad, in my opinion. All right, we've got romaine lettuce. Um, B. Honestly, romaine isn't bad, but it's really bland, obviously, but you can kind of eat it with a lot of things. Like if you want to make lettuce wraps, not that I do that all the time, but if you wanted to, you can eat it, and it doesn't really have much of a taste. It's pretty watery, pretty bland. You kind of do a lot with it. Nothing really wrong with it. Mushrooms. Mmm, C tier. They can be good if they're cooked correctly, but I never cook them because they kind of scare me. There's so many different kinds, and they're just rubbery and weird. But if someone makes it for me, I wouldn't not eat them. Is this okra? I've honestly never had it. I've heard fried okra is good, but I think the texture is like slimy if you try to cook it yourself, so I'm kind of just afraid of it, and I avoid it at all costs. Onion. Onion is good. Onion is good. I hate how it makes me just sob when I cut them. I prefer red onion, not the yellow or white onion or whatever this is. It's definitely yellow onion. And I love the flavor. You can add it to mostly everything without it being too much, and it's good. Snap peas. Mm, kind of, it's a step above green beans, but the same sort of thing. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be eating the outer skin of this vegetable. I don't know what, it's just hard and fibrous. Seems incorrect a little bit, in my opinion. Potato, oh my gosh, don't even get me started. A tier, for, or S tier. Sorry about that. S tier for sure, I am Emma the potato gal. I eat potatoes every single day. Potatoes, are they, they're, yeah, I guess they're a root vegetable. They are the best vegetable, besides for Brussels sprouts. Do you know that yellow potatoes are, I think it's the most satiating food, and it's true. Like, name a potato dish that's bad, it's not. Potatoes are the best. Pumpkin, bad on its own, but good when it's in pumpkin-based desserts. <laughs> like squash is like, okay, it's kind of bland. It's not, it has the same texture as potatoes, but it's kind of like a fake potato, you know? It's not the same. Radish, gross, this is bitter. Nothing redeeming about a radish. Gosh, what is this one called? What is this, what is this vegetable called? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Everything's like poisonous. Gosh, what is this called? It's irking me, but either way, it's going F tier. I don't eat these and I don't, they scare me. There's something poisonous about them. So I feel like I'll cook it wrong. Oh, gosh, I don't remember what it's called. I forgot, Ugh. Seaweed, Ugh. I don't wanna eat things from the ocean. I don't wanna eat plants that grow out of the ocean. I really don't. I'm just starting now to be like, okay with fish in college. Like my later years, I was like, okay, I'll eat fish. But seaweed is just so distinctly from the ocean. <coughs> I can't. Spinach, S tier. So bland, you can do anything with it. Throw it into s smoothies, throw it into any dish, and you get your extra greens and you can't even taste it. And it's honestly like a fresh um, sort of vegetable to add to your dish, you know? The only thing is that it shrivels up to about 1 30th of the size when you cook it. Sweet potato, oh, you already know where this is gonna go, yeet. It's going up S tier, of course. Honestly, I prefer regular potatoes to sweet potatoes, but it's still S tier, because I eat these probably almost every day as well. Sweet potatoes are so good. You can eat them sweet, you can eat them savory. Mm -hmm. Don't even get me started. Tomatoes, <laughs> D tier. They have some redeeming qualities, they taste good sometimes, so they're not F, but yuck. <laughs> I don't know, I don't. I don't usually buy these unless a recipe calls for them and I have to. The taste doesn't really hit the spot. The texture's a little weird. They're good on cheeseburgers, but <laughs> I don't know. They're not my cup of tea. Ooh, zucchini, S tier. I love the texture and they're versatile. I honestly used to put it in my oats. I don't really do that anymore, but they're bland. You can put, you can put them in smoothies. You don't even taste it. And they're a win in my book. Well guys, this is uh, the vegetable tier. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, opinions on these natural fruits and veggies. Uh, <laughs> fight me in the comments down below if you think I'm incorrect. And let me know what other kind of tier list you guys wanna see, if you guys like these videos, if you don't like these videos. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna keep making them because I just enjoy expressing my opinions about certain things via tier lists. So <laughs> subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.